Hi everyone. So I just had like this weird random thought go through my mind and I even heard police sirens in my mind. So I I heard the there's two cops Two police officers in their vehicle, they put the sirens on to pull someone over. The person they were pulling over is in the right state of mind, sober, but the police officers are joking around and saying, Shoot the gun, shoot the gun. Like, out of the window. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Like, up on, like, to the sky. So the driver that they're attempting to pull over can get a, af- be- can become afraid and, like, not pull over, you know, because now they're confused. And they're afraid. So now they're driving away from the police officers. Like, what the fuck? Are they trying to kill me? That type of thing. So I was thinking in my mind, like, like all these police pursuits out there, like on the news and stuff. If these drivers were under attack. But when we look at it on the news, we automatically believe or or think or assume that the driver must be intoxicated in one shape or another, one form or another. And uh, that's, you know, definitely the bad guy, you know, driving away and going over the speed limit and breaking all the traffic laws and stuff like that. But little do we know, you know, the police officers are having fun and doing it on purpose. So now they have an excuse and they can legally get away with murder. Um... Well, especially back in those days, like back in the day. But now it's difficult because of the World Wide Web and um, our phones and other devices monitor and recording everything. Um, so like there is one where this guy, he was... Um, running from the cops and they tried pulling him over but he wouldn't stop and then he stopped at a gas station when he stopped at the gas station they just shot the vehicle up they shot the driver's side the passenger side right there at a gas station and the guy died Um, and that was a long time ago. It was all over like the news and stuff, but don't get it, don't get it mixed up with my story about the cops just like joking around and shooting their weapon out of their police vehicle and like, you know, to get the guy afraid or make the guy afraid so he could take off. And not not have any idea what to do or how to respond or act under that type of pressure, you know. And um, like any type of phone calls, uh, any type of phone, any type of phone call attempts would basically be blocked or dismissed. That type of stuff, you know. Um, but anyway, it it was just like 
these crazy thoughts going through my mind. It's kind of like the episodes, um, the TV episodes, punked. Like you got punked. Um, or like even revenge prank. Like all these guys, they really need to get, they need to be watched and monitored. These guys that are like hacking people and legally saying, oh, we're just joking around and we're just, you know, doing this and that. I don't know. I don't know what's really going on. I don't know, you know, if they're joking around or not. Or if they're really fucking with people's minds. But it's not right. You know. But. I don't know everything. And. You know. I'm I'm not trying to. Get in anyone's business. But. You know like. With the world wide web. It could put their lives in danger. Because here they are pranking people and these people can, you know, like other people can see this and be like, well, these guys are the result of this or that or this or that, you know, and it's dangerous, you know, so and it's all about crime prevention. So, um, you know, I guess. If someone is operating in under an organization, uh, business or whatever, then, you know, like all the liability or whatever can befall, um, onto the company, the business, you know, and it could be, it can act like a uh, disclaimer in other words, but I mean, you know, user discretion is advised. <laughs> that type of thing. And it's not even funny, you know. I'm just thinking about all this. And I'm just laying here in bed. And these random thoughts are just crossing my mind. Like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, someone that is normal, they wouldn't have thoughts like this. And would we see something like this, like in a movie? Maybe. You know, like, especially like, you know, cops versus game bangers. And, you know, like, the cops have beef with the game banger. So, you know, they have um, history together. Maybe the... Cops have harassed the game banger before. That type of thing. Maybe even locked him up or, you know, did something foul on the side. And no one would ever believe a game banger, right? But I don't know. See, but that that's something like you would see like in a movie, like. American Gangster or El Capone or like Scarface. I don't know. Something like that, you know, where there's like bad guys and, and then there's police officers. And then, I mean, I understand though, like we could all understand, you know, police officers, they're under a lot of stress, a lot of rules and regulations and citizens are not. So it's like, why? Aren't all the citizens under strict rules and regulations as well? You know, that type of thing. So that's why I believe in the World Wide Web. You know, the digital ID. Um, But yeah, like... So, in this case... the The guy... That the police officers were attempting to pull over. You know. He knew who the cops were. So when they started firing their weapons. He was like oh shit. And he took off. Like fuck all this. And then. They were joking like. 
oh yeah, we we, we gotta uh, we're under a police uh, police pursuit. Um, we need uh like air support. We need like fucking not air support, but like we need fucking you know like the fucking um ho- helicopter. Helicopter, or ha- yeah, helicopter, ho- helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Anyway, those things. A car with a fucking that can fly. A helicopter. 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 Anyways, one of those things, right? And. Now, it's going fucking viral. Now, it's the game banger's word against the police officers. And who the fuck are, who is everyone going to believe? The game banger that has a bad rap and probably not paying, you know, Tithing and taxes and doesn't really have a good work history. You know, who are people going to believe? These hard working men, hard, you know, great achievers in life great education, and all this other stuff, you know? Or this low bag, um, dirt bag, game banger, has been in and out of prison, and doesn't have a good reputation with anyone, except his buddies, and his buddies are all foes, with the police departments and police department. So, yeah, definitely not good at all, right? Like, at all. But yeah, like, I was just, I just seen that right now play in my mind. Like, boom, in an instant. And I was like, fuck, I need to record this. But then I got up and I used the restroom. I took a piss, I washed my hands. I came back in here, and then I grabbed my phone, and then I recorded. But I did my part, and I recorded. Because my mind was attacking me for not recording when it told me to record. Just in those few seconds. And it matters because, you know, I think it doesn't matter, but my mind tells me otherwise because everything is in the moment. Everything is in the moment. Everything is in the moment. So, I don't know though. You know, the Bible says to pray for those in authority and we also need to you know, thank God for the World Wide Web. Just like the movie um, Black and Blue. Black and Blue, the movie. That's a great movie because there's a lot of, you know, these there are police officers and they, they are killing other police officers just so they could hide their their sinful deeds and stuff like that. And it's crazy. And then they were even trying to kill another police officer. And she was able to escape from them and hide from them. And they had shot her. So she was wounded. But eventually, she was able to get help. And and her story just went viral. You know, and and it's all because of the live recordings and stuff like that. So, 
you know, I thank God for all that, you know. It's so sad. And all for what? All for what? For money? People are doing that on the side for money? Killing other people? Like, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, all, we all need money, but not to that degree. You know, it just, to me, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense at all. But, like I said, I don't, like the Bible says, you know, like, don't judge no one. So I try not to judge anyone because I don't know the full picture. I don't know what's really going on. You know, and that's why I just stick to myself as well because, you know, people can get involved with stuff and not even realize what they're getting involved in. Like, even in my mind, it plays tricks on me. Like, I think that the people my brother is surrounded with they're like manipulating him and making him think like like they love him but in reality they don't they're just trying to you know like they're like they're purposely pumping him up so in order for him to do stupid things so the rest of the world or all the world could look at him and they see a bad image and that's exactly what they want but they don't do that for themselves or to themselves and the crazy thing about it is that they have good jobs so they're obviously doing it on purpose because they all each, they each have a good job, but on the side, they're doing all this corruption. And my brother, he doesn't even have a job and they're supplying him with negative influence, negative influence with, you know, they're, they're going around him and encouraging him to do drugs and stuff like that you know so you know like all that stuff needs to get regulated on you know because they don't they don't act like that at work they don't talk to to people like that you know at work they don't get a like they don't get at their bosses like that at other employees like that they don't even get at their own children like that and in, instantly, these people want to put hands on other people. And that's great bodily injury. That's, that's inflicting harm upon another human being. It doesn't matter if it's a slap to the face. That's fucking with people's brains. And it's not fucking funny. And people might think that it's funny when other people fight and stuff. But it's not fucking funny. So, we really gotta, like, you know, be more professional with this internet shit. Straight the fuck up. You know, respectfully, for all of us. For the ultimate good of humanity. Or else it's like, what the fuck are we really fucking doing here? We gotta step it up a notch. In other words. Anyways, I love everyone. God bless. Um, Happy New Year, 2021. And... I really don't even know what to title this video, but I'll think about something. <laughs>